children clamor to get a look at something fascinating. What is it? A computer. Some children in India have never had access to one before. I come here every day. That's why I am happy, says nine-year-old Shabanam as she plays with the educational games. What you are seeing inspired the book Q&A, which eventually inspired the movie Slumdog Millionaire. What can our slumdog possibly know? It's called the Hole in the Wall Project, dreamed up by a scientist in Delhi who wondered what would happen if he stuck a computer in a wall in a poor neighborhood and let children have free access to it with no supervision, only a monitor that researchers can peer through in another location. We saw that uh, kids were beginning to do interesting things and in a couple of days they had got around to learning a set of things which they normally don't do in classrooms even when we teach them in a formal sense. In essence, the children started teaching themselves. I don't have a computer, 12-year-old Rahul Tavadi says. I came here from the very beginning and I learned by watching others. After watching others, even I know how to operate it. Tavadi was just six at the time. This educational project has spread like wildfire over the past six years. This was the first one. Now there are 48 of these across Delhi and the ideas have caught on across the world. And you'll notice it's really just for kids. These were put up to discourage adults from getting in here and close to the computers. Just as in the movie Slumdog Millionaire, some of these disadvantaged children know more than the adults around them now. This is one area where they know more than their parents or their friends. So I think seems to do a tremendous amount to their self-confidence. The computers are loaded with educational software and word applications, something that can help them later in life. Eventually, the project wants to link some of the computers with internet access, allowing children to access a world they may have never seen otherwise. In this real-life drama, it isn't just fate that is playing a part in improving the lives of slum kids. It's the work of a few good men and women who dare to believe in the spirit of children. Sarah Seidner, CNN, New Delhi.